Hello, this is the Unencryptor here. Today we're going to be talking about how to upgrade the firmware of the Turnigy 9X remote control. So this is the soldering method. It's a lot cheaper than other methods, such as getting the Smarty Parts board, which is $16. This will only cost you about $4 for the USB ASP device. Other things you're going to need is a soldering iron, some solder, a couple of server wires, and a couple of paper clips. So this method is we're going to take the server wires and we're going to solder them into the correct places in the remote control. And then we're going to cut paper clips and use the paper clips to connect the servo wires to the end of the wire of the USB ASP device. I started by taking six of the servo cables and cutting off one of the ends of each of them. I then took wire strippers and stripped about an eighth of an inch off of each of the wires. You don't want to strip off too much of the wire or else you will create contacts between your wire and other wires on the circuit board which could potentially short circuit or connect two wires that you don't want to be connected. Next I cut six equal lengths of paper clips to connect the servo cables to each of the corresponding spots on the USB ASP device. I bought my USB ASP device from Hobby King when I ordered my Turnigy 9X remote control and the servo cables. The link is in the description. After opening up the back of the Turnigy 9X, I had an assistant hold the end of one of the servo cables in place while I got some solder on the soldering iron. I put a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron and dabbed it on the wire to keep it in place. When soldering, it is important to make sure that you have proper ventilation. I made sure all the soldering fumes went out the window and I also wore a respiratory mask.